Did that work? Yes, I think it worked. All right. Welcome to Vingroth Siege Wizard Adventures. Let me unplug my mic as I do every single time. All right, cool. So last time we left off, we, um... There's a clamp here. Uh, last time we left off, we, uh, we found, um... It took a while, but we found a Periite Shrine. Um, we went searching for Boethia's Shrine somewhere in the mountains, but I couldn't find it. Uh, but we did find um, the Erdifrikt, or however it's pronounced. I always call it the Herpaderpa Monster, but we found that, and we actually we got this cool bow, Frostworm Bow, which is pretty awesome. Um, it doesn't have a lot of charges, but it's pretty cool. And uh, what else? We... Um, <laughs> cool, awesome Sundu. But yeah, so um so yeah, we're in we're in uh, Periite's like little plane of oblivion and uh hey convoy. And uh basically uh yeah, we're trying to save we're trying to extract souls, like people tried to summon Periite, um, but instead they got their souls stuck in oblivion, so we're like collecting like the souls of uh of their followers. Oh cool. Okay, cool. Check that out. Alright, let's see. Let's get him. That's fine. I forgot I have my slime theme. He doesn't move fast, but he's actually very helpful in combat. However, granted, I can only like I only need to summon him once, so it doesn't actually raise my conjuration at all to have that guy around. So I'll summon another ding drop. Ooh, he's getting... I don't like to attack Atrinox with the uh, bows because the arrows just bounce right off. Okay, convoy. I mean, it's totally okay. I mean, yesterday, granted, I spent like... Like, like so many hours just trying to do something. Of course, you know, it sort of gets to a point where you know you're sort of be you have to be lewd almost to keep entertainment. So it's totally fine. I understand it. I was like lost in the mountains, so it's no problem really. All right, so I need a spell, some sort of spell. Um, let's do like grand heat beam. No. Oh, we took out my, uh, my day drop. Oh, a slime fiend could, took care of him. Alright, that's cool. Now, this is where I died last time. Because there was, like, a clan fear somewhere, and I didn't see him right away. So let's see if I can perhaps find him first before he finds me. He's probably somewhere down here. No. Yeah, well, one thing I I, I, uh, I I didn't mention before you started playing Skyrim <laughs> was uh, make sure you know what mods you have installed. Because we all have our off-camera mods, uh, but sometimes they're not best on-camera. Alright, so I'll probably get this guy with another heat beam. So yeah, that's... Your stream today probably isn't uh, safe for a YouTube upload than convoy. Uh, let's do a magma ball. Ah, see, there's the clan fear on top of that rock up there. Oh man, a whole pizza coming your way. That's awesome. I think they'll take care of that frost age or not. <laughs> that was awesome. He exploded. <laughs> well, my day drops having a good time trying to get this plan for you. 
Dude, they're all like, what is that? Actually, it is a good question of how it got on top of that rock. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I didn't know that. So they have different terms of um, yeah, service and conditions. Wow. Interesting. There's my slime fiend. Oh, see, there's another one. Oh, I had the perfect amount of arrows, too. Look at that. 69. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> you had pizza, too? Sweet. Jack. Yeah, look at how slow that clan for moves once he has that um, gunk on him. That works really well. <laughs> yeah, he is the. Yep. Head of the Pride Clan fear. Definitely. Um. Good to have a. Let's see. Let's get. Oh, that's true, Convoy. That's right. Yeah, that makes sense now. <laughs> I was always wondering how he got away with that. Let's try to do some Magma Balls here. Summon a Daedra. Maybe even this. Oh, he got me. I absorbed it. So that's nice. With all this void salts, we can actually make some pretty cool uh, Midas magic spells. Actually, no, I, I believe we have some sort of. Like, we have a different bow that we can use. Um, not that this bow isn't good, it's actually pretty good. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's true. But yeah, I have a, a dark wood bow somewhere, I think, that does pretty much the same damage, so we could get like a better one, which is pretty cool. first spell they cast. I always wonder, because I feel like they're more resilient. They drop teeth. Storm H enough. We could do like a 1-2 combo. We could do like um let's see what could we do. We could do a grand heat beam and then crush him with rocks. I like the sound of that. Crushing stones. Bam! <laughs> oh, hey, that did it! Oh, no, it didn't. Nope, nope, he's he's awake. Ooh. He's very low, though. Oh, that was a nice explosion. I like that. Interesting. Huh. TV license. It's weird, if you, like, go to a different country and, like, do certain things, it's almost like you need, like, a whole entire explanation of how they do things differently. I wonder who you can call. Like, I always wonder, like, you always need, like, permits for everything, like, setting up food stands and stuff like that. Like, is it, like, do you, like, call the authorities and be like, I'd like to do this. What permits do I need? Thing, or is there like some other person you have to call? There we go. Oh, it's per oh yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah. Wow. So it's like a TV tax. Interesting. Uh oh. I pissed something off with my presence. 
Oops, it's another day draw. Um, is it? Let me let me check. I haven't dropped any frames in my upload last day. Um, yeah, I don't know, Leo Five. You know, I've heard sometimes like simple things like it's raining outside it changes like how stuff works. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a good, yeah, that's a good idea to come in. Either refreshing or lowering the quality of my color. Oh, yours is having that trouble too, Sundu? Huh. Oh, greater soul... What a weird reward. Greater soul gems with petty souls in them. I mean, I might as well just recharge my bow. <laughs> like, yes. It's a weird little spot. Can't actually really get out of here. Unless you jump over the rocks. Um, I had to, yeah, when I was watching you convoy, um, I had to, um, I had a couple, like, things that, you know, loaded up. It wasn't too bad, though. It was, I'd say maybe every five minutes or something like that. Granted, you know, I'm watching you from another country, so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it, so. But no, it was, it was, it was good quality, so. It's good. Capture the soul of Miri. That means there's just one left. Somewhere... Over there. Gosh, this this like oblivion like realm is just absolutely filled with creatures. Like you can't go like ten feet without fighting something. It's ridiculous. I'm running out of steel arrows. That could uh, be something to be concerned about. My poor slime fiend, I move so fast, he's like all the way over there. Poor guy. I should just probably unsummon him. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. I know, anytime I alt tab, I like pray that my stream doesn't crash. Because a lot of stuff happens in that short period of time. Oh, he must be down here. Near this tower? Or is he. Oh! I have a feeling that's probably a cave thing. Probably have to get there. Th oh no, here's a little path. Oh gosh. Cats are also, can be dangerous to streaming as well, yeah. That's very true. They can also be helped though. If they're, you know, not crazy. Alright, so let's get a sneak attack. Let's see if we can drag this day drop through the lava. Yeah, that worked out pretty well, actually. <laughs> I didn't think he'd be that dumb, but he was that dumb. Ah! Ow. I know that moment when you, yeah, you wish you had levitate. So I think, yeah, there was a, a cave that you could go through. Let me just check out the Sightless Grotto. Um, I think we were in it before. Oh gosh! Do they know how to use doors in this game? Hey, Andrikos. I don't think they know how to use doors. That's, that's a good thing. Uh, let's do... damage over time. There we go. Sweet. Void salts. Need to absorb magic. Interesting. Check the mini-map. Oh, we haven't been in here. Ooh. <laughs> Can look through the walls. It's probably not supposed to be like that. Oh, that's a shame. I wish I could do something about it. If I could give you guys more internets, I would. <laughs> Wouldn't that be weird if that was a thing? Like, I could just, I don't know, transfer RAM or something, and then you guys could watch my stream a little better? 
obviously, like, I've said ten incorrect things, but that's okay. You get the gist of it. Warhammer of Ravaging, which I believe this is an orcish warhammer, and a flawless diamond, and a granite soul gem. Yeah, it's an orcish warhammer. They're not in the, um, they're not vanilla, they're part of the, um, what is it called? Immersive Weapons mod. But yeah, interweb died. No. Uh, there seems to be some weird seams in the walls. Oh gosh. Let's do a little bit of... Grand Heat Beam. I think what I'm gonna do... Oh gosh, I got hit. It's like a Grand Heat Beam. I think that'll do it. There we go. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a... Let's see. Six can be Grand Heat Beam. Yeah, because I need like a Midas spell that I can go to quickly. Because all the Midas spells are in one section, so I can just go through them. Okay, cool. Okay. Wham. Let's do a Crushing Stones. Gotta like that spell. <laughs> it's too good. It's the most devastating combo there is. You light them on fire and then you crush them with rocks. It's a very icky, fleshy pod. Um, I need some restore health potions. I seem to be missing them. Should probably do some alchemy at some point. I've never actually used my uh, my master level stuff yet. <laughs> oh man, it's too cool of a spell. I stopped her like mid cast of whatever she was doing. It's a thing in the corner of the screen. I don't know if I can show you right now, but it's a thing. I think in the corner, it's, it's kind of like. Does it work like YouTube? I can't recall. I had to do it one time before. And then you bring down, like, from whatever quality to. Like, I think I'm doing, what, 720? So you could bring it down to 480. That would probably help out a lot. My shoulder's getting a little chroma keyed out. Let me try to fix the light a bit. Is that better? Not really. How about... No. Yes, maybe. No, that didn't really help at all. Oh, oh, it's a multiple resolution thing. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize that was a thing. Oh, gosh. Yo! No day drop now. Oh, oh no. No. Oh my gosh. That extra blizzard damage from that bow saved my life. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Because I picked up some teeth, I guess. Alright, we'll try to fix that. Yeah, you know, I, I... Yeah. It might just be a Twitch thing, like they recently did made some sort of change. It could be. It happens from time to time. Uh, let me put away, like, my 11 clan fear claws. <laughs> I'll put away some of these ingredients because they're really heavy. The 15 daydrop teeth. I'm like a weird dentist or something. Ogre's teeth, holy crap. Three pounds of teeth. Here's, here's my issue, first of all. Is if those teeth really are three pounds, 
they're probably not made from calcium. Um, also, if they're that heavy, you'd think just by harvesting it would al almost take like a half an hour, like time, you know, passing. Um, that's really weird. Really, really weird. Oh, my weight's okay though. So we're good to go. I was afraid that wasn't my day drop for a second. Oh gosh, go my day job, go. Oh, there's a spiderling after me. Um, where's the spider day drop? I think he's attacking the spiderling. Take like around the corner. Only issue with day drops is that they take up like the entire hallway. So if you were planning on, you know, fighting something, or getting past it, it would be very difficult. Ah oh, crap, I hit my Daydrop. Daydrop, no! It'd be cool if there was a little bit improved AI that, you know, realized that you were some sort of, you know, ranged character, and that you need to actually, you know, get a shot in edgewise. Pushing pods amount of gold for a fleshy pod. Right. Sightless Grotto. I think this is part of that other cave that we were in. I just want to see if they connect. And if they do, we can just head out of here, I think. Yep, cool. We'll uh, head back out then. Yeah, that's really weird, Sundu. Yeah, I haven't changed any settings or anything like that, so... I don't know why that would start happening. It has been, like, raining, and I'm not... Like, a couple people have said that sometimes raining, like, messes with your internet connection. I'm not sure if that's an actual thing. Oh, nice for dropping by, slime fiend. It only took you forever. Huh. Interesting. Kilobytes per second are looking okay. Hmm. Where is our lord? Yeah, you know, I think I got everybody. I've captured the soul of Marin, uh, the seal. The seal. Interesting. That means I'm done. There we go. I found all the souls of Periite's followers lost in oblivion. Periite was, um... To open a gate for me uh, when they were all found, I should head back to where I entered this realm. Oh gosh, really? <laughs> That's who knows where that is. Yeah. I, I got in through here. It's a dude speared on a thing. I thought a storm atronach made its way like like a piece of it made it on a wall. Uh, oh, yeah. The door. Sweet. Alright, I've returned to the mortal realm and the souls of Perry's followers have gone back to their bodies. I should speak to the Daedra again. You have returned my followers, mortal. The natural order is restored, and for this, I thank you. Perhaps they have learned the folly of attempting to touch a Daedra Prince. Take this with my blessing. May it bring you order. Cool. That's Spellbreaker. 
Oh my gosh, when did you get here? <laughs> Weren't they all over there a second ago? Now what's weird, right, is I was I was looking up like the order of how things work. And in in Morrowind, like like because I'm born under the Atronox, so I absorb uh, I have 50 spell absorption, right? But the way it works in Morrowind was if someone hits you with a spell, it goes this order. You absorb first. Then you have the uh, uh, you have the ability to reflect if you don't absorb, and if you can't reflect, uh, then you can resist. But in Oblivion, it's you have the chance of resisting first. I mean, not resisting. You have the chance of reflecting first, then absorbing, then resisting. Which means if I have anything that has spell reflection on it, it basically means there's that much percentile chance that I won't be able to absorb anything. Which is, you know, kind of contradictory to how I would play, you know, a wizard that absorbs spells. So, there we go. There's a crab on a bridge. It's a, a very smart crab. Now he's dead. Oh, is the mobile app better? Oh, interesting. Let me know how that works out, Sundu. Alright, cool. So they're all back. Oh, don't mean to take out my bow. Um... We have Spellbreaker, which is worth a lot of money. I'm probably not going to sell that, though. Um, let's see. So, we're going to do some more Daedric quests. I won't look for Boethia again, unless we have, like, an exact location. Because last time we just sort of, like, explored these mountains. And it didn't work out. So, let's see. We could do Malakath. Who I believe is very close to the Brain Cross Inn. It's like right over there. So we could try that. I don't know what you're supposed to bring him. It's usually something like troll fat. Or like, I don't know. Wow. I dropped these grapes, you know, while I was still doing mage guild quests. The fact that they're still here is kind of wild. I would have expected them to despawn by now. Weird. Pick up aloe vera leaves, why not? Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have to take a look at my magic. Is that 50 difference? Yeah. Alright, I can deal. I seem to have, like, a negative 50 magicka, which... Is awful. That's really weird, Sundu. So it, it, it buffers when it's online, but not when it's on the app. You know what? I've noticed that too. Um, I was watching Convoy on uh, on my computer, but when I was watching on the app, I had no problems. That's, that's really weird. They might be like updating the website or something. I don't get emails about it. <laughs> so the only issue with me just running through this grass is that, like, mountain lions are, like, kind of the same height as those, and they're really deadly. Here we are. <clears throat> Ow, that hurt. There we go. Alright. What was your name? Shobab. You dare come here to the shrine of our lord? You are not one of us. Shrine of Malakath? I guess you haven't heard. We don't like the beautiful people. But maybe you can persuade me your ugly inside. Okay. Shrine of Malakath? I guess you haven't heard. We don't like the... Hey, what? Do not test his patience. Can I talk to it? Like, just screw that guy and talk to him? Do I have to be ugly? Do I have to, like, go in a fist fight or something? What? You dare come- Do I have to bribe you? I'm listening. Alright, let's bribe him. Alright. Oh, that's really weird. Alright. He's happy. He's... Okay. I 
think I have it. So let's go with this. I salute that. you. Win this. I don't talk. Sorry, I don't get it. Okay. Don't. Tr That's just not. <laughs> you win this one. That's a not now. Gr you oh, think that's that funny? A good one. <laughs> Whoops. Don't wait. You think that? Gr You've got a point. Uh, we that's just this. such adventures. How I can't. What nonsense. And not now. You think that? <laughs> I won't fight you. That's right, not let's bad. Try that. You're not one of Malakoth's favorite people. He likes orcs. Too bad for you. So you approach his shrine at your own risk. Deceive two sets of nostrils. That's weird. <laughs> um, I'll approach the shrine. Then go on and do your approaching. But Malakath wants a present. He likes troll fat. And he likes only troll fat. Not like spiced troll fat or like caramel Go troll then. fat. Do you have You've the weird been nose told issue? what you have to do. Huh, that's weird. They all have a weird nose issue. I don't know if their noses are too high from like some mod I have. That'd be weird. I need troll fat. I don't think I have any. I did fight the Urdifrike though. Or the Urdifrict. It's the Herpaderpa monster. It will always be the Herpaderpa monster in my heart. Uh, so let's see if I have any troll fat. Nope. Okay. Probably have some back at my house. What bothers me about Frostcrag Spire is every time you teleport there, you're outside. If you own the tower, you should at least teleport to the front door, if not inside the building. <laughs> cool jazz. It's weird though, every time I get popcorn, I um I always get it stuck in my teeth. It's awful. Like every time I eat popcorn, it's like I'm never gonna eat popcorn again. <laughs> it really bothers me. It's weird. Oh, you know what? These, like, off-gas for some reason. Like, what, right when I get in the room, and then they never off-gas again, which is kind of nice when you're collecting all these ingredients. The exercise. <laughs> the exercise of picking your teeth is good for you. I like that. Then you should eat, like, all the, like, things that always get stuck in your teeth, like, um... Oh, what? Mangoes? Mangoes get stuck in your teeth a lot. It, um... What are other good ones? I'm trying to think offhand, but there's there's a couple foods that are absolutely notorious for just getting stuck in your teeth. Make dentists like rub their hands together. Yes, eat those foods so I can pick them from your teeth later. So all dentists are somewhat maniacal, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, walking up to the spire is good exercise. Okay. <laughs> Here I thought you were talking about, you know, picking your teeth of food. My shoulders become really unchroma keyed. I'll, um, I'll fix that in a little bit. After I get, like, a lot of this stuff in here. Take some weight down. Troll fat. I should have some troll fat, right? Or, yeah, yeah. There we go. I have seven troll fat. Oh, butterfingers. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. That's two pounds of troll. F Can you imagine actually carrying two pounds of like basically animal fat? Oh, that's actually... Damage Agility is a very, um, sensible, uh, enchantment, right? You know, for, for fat. It's kind of like greasing a pig. Uh, let's put Spellbreaker and all this other...
crap away too. Might as well, so we have a free inventory. I'll keep the Akaviri Hammer. Uh, we don't need the Cloud Longbow anymore. The Black Longbow. Longbow Black we'll keep. Um, I'm going to take my Mage's Staff of Shock and all this other stuff out of there too. And just keep all my loot. And sell that. I will keep, like, the best heavy armor and the best light armor, though. So I'll keep, like, the elven stuff. Um, orcish. All my crazy rune skulls. Svedka's bones, because who knows when you need those. Wow, 400 pounds! That's why I need that spell. I wouldn't be able to survive without it. So I only have... Curious and a helmet. So I'll take the. Um... Oh, I don't have greaves. I'll take boots then. Then we can put them away in this chest. It's either the same damage, so I could definitely enchant this one, which is nice. Spellbreaker. Let's see what else. All my soul gems. Get a lot of them during my weird dungeoneering things. There we go. Calipers I need. Um, keep them in there. Super ball. They're all 20 pounds each. I'm gonna put her head down, because that's a 20 pound skull, unless it's like a mangled head and that makes a bit more sense. But the average human head is only about like 8 or 7 pounds. Yep, it's, it's actually a, a horrible severed head, yep. Put that in the chest with everything else, right? <laughs> Give everything a nice musty smell. Horrible. Horribly, horrible smell. Ooh, oh, oh, that's, oh, that's a sexy longbow. That is really nice, really nice. We'll wait for like a really, really good, um, like rune skull to enchant that with. There we go. Oh, I need more arrows. Crap. I don't have that many left. Um, I have iron arrows. Which makes me sad. Um, oh, there's some 53 steel arrows. I had some in reserve. Sweet. And wow, 57. I don't think my encumbrance has been that low in a long time. I'm about to get two pounds lighter once we get rid of that troll fat. All right, let's head back to the shrine. There we go. A poor painted horse. You know, I'm gonna unsummon you, Slime Fiend, because you're actually, like, just too slow to, like, be helpful to me ever. Where? There we go. There are other Midas Summons that are a lot better, so we'll try to use those at some point. Okay, let's see. Yes. You brought a present! Good. That's smart. Want something? And if you're smart, you do what I tell you. Mm. Lord Drad took my orders. Says he owns them. Lying maggot! They're my ogres! They're his ogres. Lord Drad put my little brothers in chains, working in the mines. I don't like that! Get over to Lord Dread's estate. Let my ogres loose and get them out. Okay? Get going! Sweet. Awesome. So we have to free his ogres. Alright then. Sounds like a plan. I'm not sure, but... I mean, the ogres can die during this. 
I'd like to keep them alive if possible. I'm not sure if there's a better reward if you keep all of them alive, but we'll see. Or maybe the quest is like, you failed! Um, I don't think there's a lot of quests like that in, uh, in Oblivion, though. I don't think there is. You know, I think strawberries actually are, are good for alchemy later on. So here's Bleak Mine. We're supposed to be mining somewhere. Alright. Open this lock up. Quick save. There we go. Oop, there's someone. Ah, oh, crap, that was the wrong button. Wrong button! Oh gosh, they're all in, like, ebony armor. This is bad. Um, I'm summoning a few more things to help me out here. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Let, let's, let's actually summon our slime fiend back. He can probably help in these close quarters. As well as... Let's see. The wraith. Probably good. Uh, what else? I feel like a Frost Atronach would be a little bit too uh, heavy for this. Um, a Dramora? For sure. Hey, Malakath. Malakath is a really cool sound to him. Oh gosh, they've all, like, changed targets. Oh, uh, I don't like this. They've been, uh, they've been covered in slime. Oh, nice. Whoops. Oh, my marksman increased because I shot a thing. A summoning Dreyfus. Who got. Oh, did. Oh, the, um, the guy's covered in slime. Weak mine guard. They do. They're in full ebony. Well, then. Oh, an orcish gauntlet. We're going to be loading up. Tarnished Ogre Cage. We're totally going to be loading up with the craziest loot. Oh yeah. I think I can even get an Ebony Golem as part of uh, um, Midas Magic. Which sounds pretty cool. Captain Guard. Yep. Missing Ebony Gauntlets though, which is kind of weird. The Midas Chest spell. If for nothing else, this spell's like the greatest spell of all time. So nuggets. Oh wait, I can level up and there's actually a uh, thing here. Can I sleep? Yeah, I can. Well, there you go. Sweet. We can bring up um, our intelligence. To a hundred? Wow, we did it! And our agility. And, uh, let's bring up our speed. Wow, our intelligence is 100. <laughs> I know, right? Two guys with, like, almost full ebony armor. That would never happen in Warland. Um, let's see here. What's my magic now? It's, um, I mean, it's... It should be 500, um, but I still have that negative magica, which is the dumbest thing in the world, and I wish I could get rid of it, but I don't know how. Oh yeah, they have weapons, too. Um, he had superior... Whoa! Your presence here will not uh -oh. be tolerated! Um... <laughs> I'm glad he started attacking my Zayda. Yeah. Spell Drinker Amulet removed. Oh, I leveled up. Holy crap. So all my, um... I should pick up all my stuff because I think I'm level 20 now. What the hell was this? Don't even know. Boots. Shiny Ogre Cage Key. Alright, I'll take one of those. Why not? And he had a black razor and an ebony shield. Oh, oh man, <laughs> if I used swords, 
I'd probably be using that. That's awesome. Oh, oh, oh. Makes me want to do a melee so bad. <laughs> oh. Take away all the ebony stuff. Delicious. Oh yeah, and I have a new spell drinker. So let's check it out. It does 20 now. Ooh, and look, it actually changed textures from like... I think that's the, the necromancer amulet texture, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see. We also got a new Wizard's Fury. Should be all the way at the bottom. Which is so fantastic. Like, it really is. Like, for 43 mana, it basically does... What? 100 damage. You know, over 10 seconds, which is wild. Oh yeah, the Daedric stuff that you get is crazy as well. Yeah. Once you reach, like, level 22, everybody and their sister has Daedric. It's ridiculous. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's, that's pretty, actually. That's really nice. That's really nice. Okay. Let's continue. I know. What was that? Um, immersive weapons mod adds, like, the coolest stuff. A dude with a glass axe. We know it. Let's let's a, let's poison him. It's been a while since we've added poison to something. Let's do it. Got him. Last battle axe. Oh, there's the ebony gaunt gauntlets we need. Every single time. Whoops, that was a heat beam. That was not the right spell. It's a shame there aren't uh, more spell icons for Midas Magic. They're like the default like textures, or not default textures. You just ate an entire pizza. I guess the congratulations is in order. <laughs> Silver hours. Did he drop? Uh, let me have another day drop at the ready. Um, oh, there's a little path this way. Or is this all the way around? Let me just check the mini map. Yeah, it's all the way around. We're good. Oh, it's collapsed. Let's see. Oh, there's the ogres. Don't worry, ogres. I'll just clear out everybody first. You can just have a nice stroll on out of here. Lots of silver nuggets. I'm not sure what I can use them for, but... I'm sure they're useful. I guess selling them, right? Oh, <laughs> I only saw the dude's hair and I was like, what is that? Silver nugget. More silver nuggets. Perkis Maximus. Ooh, cool. I think that might have been everybody, actually. Let's open this. Ooh, Greaves Armor mod. That's awesome. Oh, whoa, whoa. You, sir, are not gonna like this. Oh, nothing like getting hit by a day drop and a wizard at the same time. There we go. Oh, Broadblade. Orca shield. A whole extra large pizza. 
That's impressive. <laughs> oh my gosh! That man is a very shiny halberd. I was not expecting that. Oh gosh. If I was using melee weapons, I would probably use that because that looks amazing. Oh my gosh. It probably has a ridiculous reach. Aurum Halberd. Of course I'm over encumbered. The amount of armor that you get from this. Oh, it's the sequel to Scary. Interesting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's really cool. I really like halberds as just, you know, weapon types. Spell. Let's put away all this stuff. And the orcish stuff. Oh, that, that, like, Maya's chest is the best spell ever. <laughs> I wish that was, like, in every game ever that has, you know, inventory that, you know, weighs you down. Let's see. Chest. The Battle Axe of Depletion. Interesting. <laughs> it's true. The chest. Alright, I think we're good. I think I cleared out the entire place of people, so these ogres can just walk on out of here. Freed one group of ogres. I must check to see if there are more to be freed. What would be funny is if I had a, um, like, fortify speed spell, and, and they'd be, like, just, like, quickly shuffling out of here. Just want to check their cage. I wouldn't think there'd be a chest in here, but it's good to check anyway. Excuse me, sirs. Another couple cages over here. There we go. I freed all the ogres in Bleak Mine. I should return to the Shrine of Malakath. prison cell with a post in the middle. Great, great design there. <laughs> My poor slime fiend. Ooh, there were silver veins on the ceiling? Or was it just that one? Oh, there's just a ton of ogres coming this way, I'm not even gonna bother. Sweet. When I saw this stuff, do not be surprised if I get up to, like, some stupid, stupid amount of money. Oh my gosh, the ogres are out here? Now you're actually loaded lighter than I am, son. Now my poor husband is the slave, and the ogres are his masters. They haven't harmed us, but he's never worked so hard in his life. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. The ogres like took over the farm. Oh, what am I doing? I'm uh, I freed ogres from uh, the bleak mine, and um, oh, you have fast metabolism, gotcha. And um, yeah, we're doing a Malakath shrine right now, so we're gonna head in the quest now. And then after that, I'll have to figure out which uh, Daedric uh, lord we're going to do another quest for. But hopefully know the exact coordinates and not, you know, travel in the mountains for 92 days. <laughs> ha! Ow, that hurt. That was the wrong spell. There we go. 
Good job. No one owns ogres but me! And I fixed that maggot. The ogres own drag. Make drag eat death. <laughs> Great. Now you get a present. Keep up the good work and be nice to my little brothers. <laughs> Alcat's satisfied with my efforts to free the ogres and he's bored me with Volandron. It's here. Here we go. If I was into two handed blunt weapons, it's definitely one you would probably use. It's pretty nice. Not the greatest charge, though. Still, it's not. Alright, let's see. What else? Next. Let me think of who else we have. Uh, we have Mafala, who I think will be easier. She's, like, around here. So, I think we'll just go from the Imperial Prison Sewer and head up that way. There's Namira, who's in the mountains. There's Azora, who's also in the mountains. They're pretty close, actually. I'm pretty sure. Alright, I'm unsummoning you. Oh, hey, NASA Buck official. Oh, gosh. That Volendrung is actually... Oh, I also have the Battle Axe of Depletion, so... That makes a little bit more sense now. Let's put that away. There we go. <laughs> 58 encumbrance is more like it. Alright, so we need to head that way. Do I have water walking? I don't even think I have water walking. I don't think it's a thing that I have. Which is weird. I think I would have, like, picked up, but I have water breathing. Bunch of summon spells. Nope, I don't have water walking. I guess it really doesn't matter. I'll just be attacked by, like, thousands and thousands of, uh, slaughterfish. Oh, I move really fast. <laughs> yep. Torrin fan. The Daedric Prince of Derbiness. Eat it, mud crab. Oh, something else doesn't like me either. Is it like fishes? Do fish not like me? I don't know why I took the crab bait, but I did. It's really murky. Oh, there's another one. Oh, when I finished Morwind, I, uh, let's see. Gosh, I finished Morwind. I've been playing, oh gosh, I can't really give you a, probably maybe like three weeks, maybe? Two weeks ago? Something like that. Yeah, some, somewhere along that timeline. <laughs> um, I was just doing that on the off chance that it might get rid of my negative magicka. So we need to head, I think it's up this way. Kind of want to avoid that uh, alien ruin, just in case. Because I'll be more tempted to explore it if it's on my map and I haven't been there. Ooh, it's got some interesting, like, vine stuff going on there. The dude right there. Should be something. <laughs> oh, you discovered me when I was in a... Uh, when I was like level 8 in some sort of room. when that would be, like, maybe, like, red, like, what, red water, something? Around here, maybe? Bear in mind, 
one of these ones, like Fort Redmond. That could have been it. was supposed to be somewhere around here. I think this could be it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I like how all your, you know, how you discovered Vingroth's source was, it was Vingroth's character was in a ruin or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. Oh yeah, the town that's completely invisible. Yep, I almost forgot about that. Yeah, it was like three weeks ago. Yeah, something like that. Um, let's see. Maybe that town's up this way? Guess we'll have to head back. It's too bad I don't have a good horse. Acrobatics, because <laughs> why not? I guess it helps increase my speed modifier. Ooh, what is oh, an ogre? Apparently, we're not supposed to hurt his little brothers, but um, yeah, that ain't happening. Yeah, Dark Brotherhood and getting Shadow Man would be nice. I might want to get a few more, like, Midas Magic spells before I do Bark Dark Brotherhood, though. Oh, I was in Vex 4 and Quarter. Wow. Yeah, that's a while back. Okay, so we'll try to head towards this road. Black Stallion from Cheating Hall? I mean, we just... We kind of do have money to burn, actually. Um, I mean, the most expensive thing we could probably do is make a constant effect enchantment. And even then, mm, the enchantment system in Oblivion isn't the greatest. So we'll probably not even use our money for that either. Probably the most expensive thing we could do is... Uh, get out a couple houses or something like that. There's a doomstone here. Let's check it out. It is nighttime, oh. so whatever it is, we could actually uh, get it. Right now we have... What do we have right now? Forget. Oh, I'm casting the wrong spell. That's great. I have War Cry, which is kind of useless to me. Um, it would act actually as a nice little... Um, like feather almost, but it's kind of kind of useless since I have that like sort of extra dimensional chest of some sort. Oh, your cat says hello. Uh, let's see, steered by the stars of the thief. Sure. So the thief shine upon you now. I have um, cheater's nip, great power. Let's see. All right. Fortify luck. That's actually pretty nice. I like that. Oh. Ah, here it is. Of course there's an ogre. Come get some. Wizard's Fury spell. Oh yeah, I think ogres are a bit more resistant to magicka. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. That's so true. Yeah, all of those ends. Oh, yeah, I like that. Sweet. Look at all of his frozen pieces roll down the mountain. If there's anybody like down there on the mountain, they must be like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> there's just icicles. And they start like licking the icicles and they realize it's actually chunks of ogre. Be interesting. <laughs> I 
ไปวัดครับผมคุณดูอะไรเราเป็นอะไรอยู่ในทางของทางในทางของทางในทางของทางในทางของทางในทางของทางในทางของทางในทางของทางในทางของทางในทางของทางในทางของทางในทางของทางในทางของทางในทาง Some horrific avalanche. There we are. I mean, we found the village necessary for Mafala's um, quest. I would assume that Mafala would actually be somewhere close by. Um, hmm. That could be a bit more difficult. I think it is east of here, though. Oh my gosh! All my jumping around. <laughs> so wait, after arduous hours of practicing jumping and controlling your falls, you become a journeyman of acrobatics. Ta-da! Um, you know, can you have the dodge ability? Blocking while jumping makes you dodge in the direction of the jump. Uh, you will also do a tumbling roll to possibly avoid an attack. So wait, you're telling me if I do like? Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my gosh! I've just become like the most agile wizard of all time. I know you can do something similar with them. Well, let me click save first. You can do something similar with them. Deadly reflex. Like you actually have a dodge button. You'll see um, people occasionally do that. Apparently, you can. Can I? Well, that's interesting. Oh, that was the wrong button. Just by. Huh. Oh, wait, wrong. I think it's a bit, a little bit weird on my keyboard, but technically I could have done that way earlier because I just have a dodge button. So why did you try? That? Oh, sundew. That yeah, it's um, make <laughs> a tree. It's kind of right. Um, basically, like I went uh, marksman. Like I could have gone complete mage, right? Um, <laughs> 360 no scope archer shot. We'll have to try that at some point. Um, but yeah, basically the reason I, I mean, I, if I put mysticism here, it would have been all the things of magic. Uh, but the idea was that, um, you can't sneak attack with spells, but you can sneak attack with arrows. So I figured I'd have that advantage. Um, but actually if I was making this character again, I would probably replace illusion an alteration with something else, to be honest. Um, I seem to be agile enough to not get hit that often, um, and I just don't use illusion spells all that often, so I might have been better like to replace them with like armor or something like that, or maybe athletics. Um, but yeah, um, I basically, the original idea for the character was to go mainly all magic um, and use a bow as well, since I'm basically going for no melee at all. Um, so I figured I need some sort of physical projectile in case I need. There was something that was like I don't know, completely immune to magic, or at least you know that was the original plan. But I guess if you wanted to go complete wizard, yeah, you'd, you'd use um, this system as well. As well. All right, let's continue heading east. Uh oh, crap! I'm um. I need to go unplug my keyboard. Uh, because for some reason my A key just got stickied, uh, so I just keep running to the left all the time. I'll be, like, I just need to reach around my computer, which kind of requires a bit more doing than you'd think. Okay. Unplug the keyboard. Plug it back in. And hopefully not get killed by this bear. Oh gosh, it's gonna kill me. Oh, sweet. I don't know why, but every once in a while I get that problem with this keyboard. It's a shame, but I don't know do it. Oh my gosh, that brown bear actually took down my freaking day drop. I need a summon brown bear spell. 
like, you know, screw Daedra. If I could do that, then that would be fine. Alright, so I think Mafala is somewhere around here. I just hope it shows up on the minimap sooner rather than later. Temple, there's a cave. Also, um, <laughs> I'll just put it out there now. If you don't want me aimlessly running around, you can totally just tell me where it is. I have absolutely no problem with that. Alright, it's an oblivion gate. Ken, I don't want to find this. Because I'll be kind of like semi forced to go into it. Because that's just how I roll when I explore. Oh, that's true, yeah. Once I reach level 100 Conjuration, that'll be ridiculous. The Zalvis and the, um, the Liches. Okay, it's another freaking bear! I. Uh, I'm gonna put a shield up just in case. And just so I don't have to deal with it for a very long time. Alright, cool. Uh, not seeing it. Keep checking though. At least we found the location that we need to go to eventually for, um... Ah, oh, there we go! Found it. No, I don't need venison. At some point I might go venison hunting, but we don't need to for right now. <coughs> Ow. I guess one way to, uh, if you, if you use acrobatics and restoration as skills, one way to train them really quickly is to just run down mountains and jump <laughs> and heal yourself. And try not to die, I guess. That would be a good one, too. Something is not a Oh gosh, it's a black bear. Some Daedroth. I don't know who that guy is. Sir? Oh, he's a Legion Forester. A legion forester next to, uh, you know, Daedric Shrine. That man just teleported. Oh no, he got onto a bench. Wait, uh, Conjuration? Yeah, Conjuration's way harder. Because, um, it only counts, like, your skill level based on, like, the duration of how much time your conjured creature is in combat. Whereas this, I could literally, like, macro... Uh, like the casting button and like walk away from the computer and come back. Ooh, cool arrow sheathing mod. Yeah, that's always an issue for me, isn't it? <laughs> you approach the shrine of Mephala. The web spinner watches you, stranger. Alright. Shrine of Mephala. Mephala tugs the strings of mortals for her pleasure. Are you sure you desire audience with the web spinner? Sure, let's go like mess with people's lives. Why not? Leave Mephala an offering of nightshade at the shrine between midnight and dawn, and the web spinner may grant you an audience. Crap. I do care. recall that there's kind of like. Nightshade usually grows around gravestones. That's just. I mean, not. I don't know if that's true in, in real life. I mean, you could plant some, I guess. But usually, like, in Skyrim at least, Nightshade grew around graveyards. There doesn't seem to be any here. I don't think I have any on me right now. I should probably just save some time and <laughs> teleport back to Frostcrag Spire and get some. 
Also, since we're doing danger quests, um, well, let me unsummon you, Slime Fiend, because you're always just lost the entire time. No, no, actually, you're very, it's, it's true, Convoy. I think, uh, Mafala technically is, like, the Daedric Lord of, but, like, of three things. Fate, murder, and sex, I'm pretty sure. Um, like, if you look her up, the, the, the sex thing's a bit less known, but it's actually, like, a thing. <laughs> Where's my unsummon? There we go. Of course, let me Uh oh. Did my negative magica just become like horrendous? It's like 96 negative magica right now. That can fix itself. I don't like it though. Um, I mean, let's put it this way, Sonic. If I was a man who wanted to live his life in a normal fashion and not end his days in, like, complete, you know, mental disarray, I would probably go with, um, uh, Azura to be on the safe side. Um, however, yeah, for, for, oh, fate, murder, and intrigue. I've heard it uh, translated as sex as well, but... Yeah. Anywho, um, but if I wanted to have fun with my life and, like, just revel in my madness, I would probably go with Sheogorath. Sheogorath is my favorite Daedric god. I'm not sure it's the best to live by, though. Uh, I need a nightshade. Yeah, my fellow, yeah, founded the Morag Tong, yeah, that's true. Let's see, we need nightshade. Go. And I believe if we're gonna do Azora's quest, we need what? What is it called? Um I forget what it's called. Will o' the Wisps drop it. It's shiny. Or something like that. Glow dust. We need glow dust. Well. Oh, oh, what god I would worship. Um, I mean, Daedric Lord, yeah. So either either Azora or um, Shograth, but... Yeah. Um, maybe Xenathar? For the Daedric... Or not Daedric, for a Tamriel god, maybe? Because if I was in, you know, the Elder Scrolls series, I would definitely use some sort of magic. So I'd probably be into that. Uh, let's see. So we got that. Yep, so we can just teleport back then. Cool. Alright, and we have to wait till it's midnight. That man always teleports to that bench. My painted horse wants in on that action too. It's a little weird. Um, let's see. We need to wait till like 12 p.m., right? Uh, let's try that. Show <laughs> growth for deaths. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, if you put it that way, right? Worshipping Show Growth as a Daedric Lord, your life would never be boring, ever. Your might your life might not be as long <laughs> as you might, you know, worship different, you know, Daedric Lords, but you know, at least it would be interesting. Let's offer the nightshade to Mufala. Call me Web Spitter. Pluck but a single thread, and the weave unravels. In Linger's way, two families, Nord and Dunn, live in perfect harmony, but beneath the surface lurks a secret seed of strife. Kill the leaders of the two families. Plan evidence to implicate the other family as the killer. And don't get caught. Be cunning. Don't spoil my skis. And don't die. That would spoil everything. <laughs> Falls a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, NASA Buck.
Yeah, that is weird, Leo Fire. I, I didn't... Yeah, I, that's weird that, you know, in um, previous, like Morwind, right? You get the Ring of Khajiit from um, Mafala. But in Oblivion, you get it from Meridia. I'm also very confused. Okay, so apparently I need to cause unrest in the city. And I think, what was the best way to do this? Let's see. I need... She needs me to kill the leaders of the two families. Alright then. Where's the inn? Oh, if we look at the inn, we might find a follower, even though, like... Obviously, like, not about followers anymore. Would still be interesting to see if there were any. There's this person lying on the floor. Oh, that's awesome, NASA. Yeah, I'm getting, um... Mern? He's probably, you know, a person. We could talk to her, see what, what's up. I hope I can help. Yep, what's your stats like? 19. Combat skills. Those are impressive combat skills. Next. Nope, oh, you use no magic. Go back to bed. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen the Sheogoroth pizza prank. That is fantastic. Wait, what? Wait, what? Meridia... No, Meridia gives you, um... You're thinking of Nocturnal who gives you Skeleton Key. Um, Meridia gives you the Ring of Khajiit. Um, in Oblivion, at least. It's weird how some things change. Alright, so I need to find the leaders. I don't know who the leaders are. I would assume, like, probably the biggest houses. This one. <laughs> All right. Huh. Blacksmith pants. Yeah, Meridi gives a Dawnbreaker in Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ulfgar family ring. Probably need that. I found the Ulfgar family ring. This will be useful as evidence. Scale increased. Is it just this guy alone in his house? Because this is too easy. Granted, I can't one shot kill him, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I was worried there for a second, I'll be honest. Alright, so let's quick save. Maybe if I aim for his head, and I'm lucky. Come on now. There's no need to get violent. He seems to be stuck in the uh, shallow roofs. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Hey, mister. You don't want none of that. I've killed him. I have to... I should leave on something on his uh, corpse to, incomplete, uh, to implicate the... Uh, Oh, hey, Dirk Extreme. Oh, really? The, the Dawnbreaker has the most charge of everything? Interesting. That's pretty cool. Not that I'm into one-handed blades ever. I find one-handed blades to be, um... too common. I much prefer... like... like, if, if, we're, if I'm doing a one-handed, like, weapon of anything, I'd probably do something like, I don't know, maces or axes. I'm never into blades, really. Family house. To find that other guy. <laughs> it's very true. There's no reason to get violent, and then he just pulls out a sword out of nowhere. 
I'll just assume it's this guy's house. Also, what time is it? It's 3 a.m. We're pushing it, but we could probably do this. Oh crap, that was the wrong key in time. I think this is the right... He is a Nord. If he was a true Nord, he would have, he would be shirtless, though. He's not a true Nord unless he's running around shirtless, in my opinion. Right in the back of the skull. Help! Help! I'm being attacked! Oh, got him. Sweet. Killed him, I must implicate other stuff. Awesome. Let's go into the chest, see what else we have. He has leaks. <laughs> Nord's the second most violent race. Thank you, Daedra. Oh yeah, I have to um I have to put that one ring on that guy. Yeah, don't mind me walking. Actually, it's pretty funny. Um, I don't know why, but it seems that, like, in any Elder Scrolls game, the best time to murder someone is, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why that is, but I always find 2 o'clock in the morning to be the best time. Like 12 a.m. is a bit too early. Um, once you get to 4, I don't know why. But 2 a.m. always works the best for me, especially when I'm doing like Dark Brotherhood quests. There we go. Left the dagger. There we go. I've placed evidence in both bodies of the family's leaders. Now I must tell someone I saw them attack each other. The only thing that bothers me about this whole thing is how did they kill each other in like their respective homes and die simultaneously? <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, well, it's, it's a high pitched part of elves, right? Plus, elves, if you think about it, are like kind of supposed to be sprightly and whatnot. These are troubled times in Bleaker's way. What do you want? Uh, yeah. Prol Ulfgar has been murdered and the Dalvalu are responsible. They will pay for their treachery, the wretched Dunmer. You too. I <laughs> remember this. Oh my gosh, then you go outside and everybody's attacking each other. Although she's taking a, her good old time getting out that door. Leprechauns, yeah. <laughs> Elves are kind of like big leprechauns. Kind of. Oh my gosh, it's a freaking Spriggan. Die. Is that lady sleep behind the wall? Well done, little web spinner. Is there a prettier sight than friends and war? Take pleasure in the strife you have caused, mortal. Sweet, we have the ebony blade. Awesome. Nah, dark elves, dark elves, dark elves, yeah, they definitely have like a deeper voice. Yeah, they have a they have a very gravity voice. It's a really good blade, though, this heavenly blade. The fact that it silences on strike is fantastic.
Alright. Oh, uh, let's see. We need to go for... What are you? Why do I have that? That's weird. Um... Okay, so where can we head next? Zora, who's somewhere around here. So let's just go to Lake Arius Caverns and then head up. I think I... Do I just need one glowstone dust? Do I need more than one? I feel like one should be enough, but I might need more than one. Which would be very unfortunate. Yeah, I've been having a rainy weekend too, uh, Jadis. It should be snowing, but uh, but yeah, it's a little too warm for some reason. That negative magicka really annoys the crap out of me. <laughs> All right, cowboy. All right, let's see. Let's at least go to this camp. Head up this mountain. I think we're actually close to Azora. Like it's just over the crest of this mountain. I do think this is an evil camp. Yep. Ooh, some nasty ones. That one has a, a ebony bow, I think. Let's um, do some frost damage. This will be like double frost damage. The other one hasn't noticed me at all. Fantastic. What do I want for Christmas? Uh, let's see. I would probably... <laughs> oh my gosh, that person died from the poison. Holy crap. I guess I do create, like, some really crazy poisons. Is my day drop not coming? bit late. Induin Battle Axe. That is pretty sweet. Cumbered, of course. But, oh, what would I want for Christmas? I'd want, um, like a proper light, because right now I'm just using, like, a lamp. Um, and let's see. Oh, hey, Hunting Shadow. Uh, what else would I want for Christmas? Um, mostly streaming-related or computer-related things, like new speakers, because every once in a while my speakers will, like, sound like a robot. Ooh, an ebony bow. That's actually better than all the other ones I have. An ebony claw. Interesting. Yeah, this, this bow does more damage, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it does. There we go. It's our new bow. <laughs> we'll keep Frostworm bow, because it's pretty cool. What does the enemy claw look like? Ooh, that's really nice. Cool. Uh, let's find this camp, by the way. I found Hidden Camp. Which is a terrible name, because I just found it. Probably have to go there later for some sort of quest. I think Azora might be over this mountain. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it is. Oh gosh. What? Am I missing something? 
<laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, does Toggle World work in uh in Oblivion? Is that a thing? I'm afraid I would crash if I check. Like Morrowind I think would be a bit more stable. But I'd, I'd be afraid to check it with Oblivion. Um. Oh, there's a Zora. I thought we were close. Ah, oh, crap. Let's see what day drop. <laughs> <laughs> Leofire, you are talking about Skyrim orcs, though, right? <laughs> the Skyrim orcs look a lot better than Morrowind or uh, Oblivion orcs. Oh my gosh, it's an ogre. I was reading chat. Um, I'm not sure what reset does in chat. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff after me at the moment. Um, let me bring a few more things to help me. Oh, we have a Daedroth. Um, what else can we use? Yeah, Skyrim works. <laughs> um, let's see. You could also use a Clan Fear. A Clan Fear would be nice to have. How about a... Skeleton Champion? Not. That orc doesn't want any of my, like, summon business. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, that hurt. Ooh. Oh, did, th did that work? Huh. Interesting. The three pound ogre teeth, of course. Gosh. Alright, let's get to Azora. <laughs> good answer, convoy, good answer. Alright, let's see. You have entered a holy place. What is your business here? Shrine of Azora? These are dark times, and people's minds are poisoned by rumors and superstition. Okay. Unless you can persuade me of your good intentions, I... Oh, that's just a fancy way of saying you need speechcraft. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, so you don't like jokes. You're okay with admiring. And yeah, alright. No, no jokes. This is a tough one. Goodness. What can I say? And you like you like boasting. Well, not fun. That's just talk. You your way. Please. What a great can story. Really? You're revolting. Is that really now? You're such a charmer. <laughs> I wonder what I said for him to say you're revolting. Goodness. Uh, what can I say? Remark. Ugh. Oh, please. Oh, please. Please. I wish I... You're revolting! The Wood Elves don't have a lot of eye color, really. Kind of weird. You! You can't skip. Really? I wish I could say that. All right. I get it. <laughs> I'll be here. It happens every once in a while during the You have entered... It just, it just happens. This is the Shrine of Azura, Queen of the Dawn. And the dusk. What is your business here, traveler? I wish to summon Azor. If you wish to speak to the lady, visit her shrine at dawn or dusk. 
Leave her an offering of glow dust, and perhaps she will deign to speak with you. Okay, cool. Go then. All right, so we need to wait for what? 12 p.m. Six hours, I think, will do it. <laughs> yeah, ever since Morrowind, yeah, we've had the the conversation of which which uh, Elder Scrolls ways would you bang? Yeah. Glow dust to the shrine of Zor. I have seen your name, traveler, and heard it whispered in twilight. I ask a service which holds promise of fame and reward. Many years ago, five followers slew the vampire Dratic and its kin, but all were infected by the foul creature. Mm. Knowing their fate, they sealed themselves up in the vampire's lair. Their suffering weighs heavily on me. Travel to the gutted mine. The door will open to you. Bring the peace of death to my followers, and you shall earn my gratitude. Cool. Now, since they're vampires, I'm pretty sure that my heat beam spell is going to kill them almost instantly. So we have to try. <laughs> yeah, Zora is definitely considered one of the, you know, like more level-headed gods. Um. <laughs> oh gosh. That all really depends on one thing during extremes, that do Khajiits actually lick their own assholes? Like normal cats do. I've said before that... Why is there a fr Oh, there's a freaking Oblivion game close by. I've said before that, you know, like... Yeah, I, I've said before that, you know, like, Khajiits, right, um, like, you'd figure that we're far enough, right, in, um, like, in development, you know, like, through history, that, you know, we can build castles, they'd probably have toilet paper, but if Khajiits are like cats, then they would lick their own assholes, so yeah. It's never a good thing. It's really dark. Wow. Alright, let's get heat beam ready. Maybe a sneak attack as well. <laughs> that thing just missed me. <laughs> uh, how long? I have like 15 more minutes, but I could go a bit longer. Ooh, there's someone in glass armor. I'm pretty sure... Aren't vampires resistant to poisons? Oh gosh, he's coming Who's right there? through me. Never say never. Oh my gosh! Heat beam is absolutely devastating the vampires. A glass ninjata. And an afflicted breton. A glass curious. <laughs> oh gosh, Sundew. Wait, am I talking about the song? No, no, it was just what Dirk said, yeah. Uh, let's see. Am I over encumbered? Yes, I am. Let's put a few things away. Alright. Um, claw, that, glass and Jato. We can put away the silver arrows. It's curious. Mithril stuff. Well, that seems to be good for now. Oh, let me, um... Oops. Quick save. I'm glad that the minimap is actually showing me the location of all the vampires. It's really nice of them. Check the 
coffins, silver nuggets, all the nuggets. <laughs> no, no, I, I probably don't like that song either. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, work women are probably going to be the man in the relationship. Friends? Yeah, I like dogs. Dogs are awesome. I used to have a dog. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh. Oh my. Oh, that's... That's fancy. I like that. Check out that rune skull. Oh, that's fantastic. Restore health one on self. That's an enchantment like you can you can't even get. That's really wild. Also the um that negative effect of put to a weapon is ridiculous. Like you would if I put this on my bow, right? I would actually shoot somebody. And if you just waited, you'd basically damage your strength by 60 points. They would stop at some point because they'd be over encumbered with whatever they had. That's intense. That is really intense. You would basically shoot someone once and then they'd stop dead after a few seconds. That's really cool. And that's why I have the Rune Skulls mod on. Oh gosh, Convoy. I guess you're right. <laughs> I mean, it, it I mean, you all joke, but it's kind of true like like orcish women like like they like do blacksmithing and stuff like they're probably all jacked. Like they're like ridiculously like muscular. What's that? Oh, there's a vampire close by. Hey, I'd better cut down on the ale. Oh Starting my gosh, does that one actually out? have Daedric armor? <laughs> <laughs> uh What's let's that? try to get this one first. Ah oh, crap, that was the uh the wrong spell. Ooh, ooh no. No, no, lady, no. Oh crap, no. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. I can't believe we. I'm level 20, and we found our first, uh. We found our first Daedric armor. That's obscene. Oh, is there more coming? Through? Pegasus Grand Axe. And she also had... There better be a damn good reason why she has Daedric Armor. Damn good reason. Uh, let me drop this axe, because it's like freaking 72 pounds. And like, probably the Daedric Curious, and we'll come and pick that up later. Oh, I'm not sure alright health-wise, I managed to dodge all of them. Now my Daedroth has apparently, like, caught the attention of basically everybody. Oh, there's a door here that he can't get past. Oh gosh. I think that movie's called Underworld Dirk Extreme. Oh gosh. Ooh, that person's just like me. They like summon stuff and oh gosh. Uh, wrong spell. Go, Daydrop, go. 
Oh my gosh, that lady the oh there we go, got it. I think that lady was a high elf. Oh my gosh. Oh she had a cloud longbow. I used to work, have one of those. <laughs> oh yeah yeah, the werewolf um well, it's, I don't think it's actually, like, due to, you know, maybe it is, I can't remember, but yeah, it's called Underworld. It's like a, a complete movie series about, like, basically, like, vampires and werewolves fighting each other, and then at some point, like, there's like a mixed race of, like, werewolf and vampire together. Pretty cool, though. All that conjures yourself make infinite selves. Um, yeah, that'd be a good plan. Alright, there's one more down here. I think I, there is actually a Midas magic spell that actually summons a copy of yourself, but it's only made to distract people, unfortunately. breeds. <laughs> See it? It's got our heat beam equipped. Yeah, I should get a werewolf mod. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh gosh, he is a little bit more resistant to magic because he's an orc, isn't it? Oh gosh. There we go. No. Oh, okay. Ebony, orcish, vampire dust, a long faded note. Here we go. Sundu. <laughs> Just one berserk and it'll all be over. <laughs> oh god. The, the the rule that they never actually tell you about, right? In, um, in the Elder Scrolls is that you should never use your um your greater uh, race power in bed. That's a no-no, but they never actually explicitly say that. There we go. <laughs> Do they accept checks? Uh Yes, cats can turn into, uh, Khajiits can turn into, ooh, loose planks. Yeah, Khajiits can actually turn into werewolves, I'm pretty sure. Which is really kind of messed up, actually. They should technically just turn into giant or cats. But, yes, it's a thing. Wow, that was the most disappointing coffin of all time. Was there even a chest back here? Yeah, I, I know, it's like it's like a species turning into an entirely different species, but it's it, it happens. Same thing with Argonians. Although I think if you, if you catch Lycanthropy and you're Argonian, you should actually turn into a Daedroth. I think that makes a lot more sense. Granted, that would assume that, you know, there's some, like, Dremora influence, or Daedroth influence, rather. No, two more. Where's that? There's the rock wall. Oop, there's another trap there. Let me just try to escape past it there. Some more coffins. Strong potion of burden. More silver. I don't know why I collect silver nuggets, but I do. <laughs> Let's get the extra Daedric armor. Sweet. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, that's too funny. Well, I guess if you think about it, it's weird that humans turn into giant wolves, right? It would, it, yeah. Huh. I guess, I guess that actually makes sense then. Huh. <laughs> no, I don't think the, uh, the Wood Elves, um, Command Creature spell works that well. Um. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that, that, you know, despite what, you know, any uh, people might say in the Elder Scrolls lore, you can't use Command Creature on um, Argonians and uh, and Khajiits. They're not they're not animals. Only Command Humanoid works on them. Oh yeah, Leo Fire. Um, my uh, let's see, Dreyfus, right? Uh, he basically it came to a point where we're like we were like doing the Mythic Dawn quest and. We basically decided right then and there that my day drop was actually better than Dreyfus. So we pretty much just, you know, took all of our, you know, armor back, you know, and, um... Werewolf was human equals super beard. It could be. But yeah, so basically we left Dreyfus, you know, said, you know, you can go on your way. And so he's on his way, he's fine. Although last time he was just sleeping inside of, like, one of the cots of the Mythic Dawn. But I'm sure he's fine. Thank you, Mogul. Their spirits are free. And henceforth, above my shrine, five bright candles shall burn forever in memory of their sacrifice. For your service, take this token, that your deeds might be entered in the Book of Fate. Zora Star is so useful. And Shard of Moonshadow, what? Did I get like an extra like... What? Did you give me like some extra like... Weapon? I mean Azura Star is good enough as it is. What? <laughs> I mean that's pretty awesome. Never heard of this weapon before but apparently I, I guess... This is either... Myths and Legends... Uh, which we actually actually haven't come across any of those weapons yet, um, or it's from immersive weapons and armor. Yeah, yeah. My idea is to um, wait. Umbra's not a Daedric artifact, is it? Unfortunately, that's a shame. Because if it is, there is a way that you can use Skull of Corruption and make two of Umbra, uh, and get two, like, Umbra swords, but I don't think it actually counts as... That's a Will-o'-the-Wisp, isn't it? <laughs> oh, the attack has no effect, of course. That's a legend weapon. The only way I know how to duplicate stuff though is, um, I know there's the weird, what, arrow scroll thing, which I guess we could do, but I'm not exactly sure how to do that offhand. Um, and the other way to do it is, um, the, or the way that, I, that I've done it in the past is that if someone has the actual artifact, then you can, like, use, um, oh, what's, then I can use, um, Skull of Corruption to make two of them, and then kill the one, I think it, I think you need to resurrect them as well, I forget the order, anywho, you resurrect one, duplicate another, something like that. Yeah, I mean, it is, I'm not even sure, can we even drop a Zora Star? I don't think it can be something that you drop. Unless I got a mod that lets me drop Azura Star. Let me quick save before, just in case, you know, my game's like, Dropping Azura Star! <coughs> Herc. 